In this video I'll be showing you how to fix Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 connection issues. So if you're having issues in the game with lag or perhaps it's coming up with a network error message or something like that then one of the methods in this video will hopefully resolve the issue that you're having. And if they don't, don't panic because I will also pop a link in the description below to our website where we may have more methods on resolving connection issues. So definitely check out that post. So the first thing that you want to do is just simply restart your computer. I know this sounds very, very simple, but this can resolve many problems, especially when it comes to connection problems. So go ahead and restart your computer. And once it's restarted, then launch the game and see if that helps. Once you've restarted your computer and if that didn't help the issue, then the next thing that we want to do is just make sure there are currently no problems with the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 services. And we can do this by clicking on the link that's in the description below. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to select Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 from the right hand side here under select game. And then on the left hand side, you will then see a green tick, hopefully saying all platforms online. If this is the case, then we know there's currently no problems with the online services. However, if it does say there's an issue, then you know that's why you're getting the connection problems. So once this is all good, we can now move on to the next method. So the next thing that we want to do is just ensure there are currently no issues with our internet by running an internet speed test. We want to ensure that we're getting the correct download speed and upload speed. So open up your web browser, go to Google and then type in internet speed test. You will then see an option to run a speed test. Go ahead and click onto this button. And then as you can see straight away there, I know that's the correct download speed that I should be receiving. So there's no issues there. The next thing I need to do is just make sure my upload speed is all good. And straight away, I can see my upload speeds also correct. So I know there's no problems with my internet provider at the moment. If you're not getting the correct speeds, then you will want to go onto your internet provider's website and just ensure there are currently no known issues within your local area. So once you've done that, the next thing that we want to do is ensure that Windows is up to date. We can do this easily by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to settings. Next, you need to click on update and security and you then need to click on the check for updates button. This is now going to ensure that you have the latest updates installed if Windows does detect a new update, it will then download and install that update like it currently is now. Once you've updated Windows, go ahead and launch the game again and see if that helped. If there is also an optional quality update available, go ahead and download and install that as well. So the next thing that we want to do is just ensure Windows Defender is not blocking Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. We can do this by opening up the start menu icon and then typing in Windows Defender. You then need to select Windows Defender Firewall and you then need to click on Allow an Apple feature through the Windows Defender Firewall. Next, you need to find Call of Duty in the list and as you can see, it's here, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. You need to make sure it's got a tick under Private and Public. If it doesn't, then click on Change Settings and you will then be able to tick the box. Once you've done that, go ahead and press OK. If the game isn't in the list, then you need to click on change settings again still and then click on allow another app. You would then need to browse for the game and then press add and then again click on the two boxes and then press OK. Once you've done that, go ahead and launch the game again and see if that helped. If you were using a third party security program, then you will want to either disable it and then launch the game and see if that helped. Just keep in mind you won't be protected from threats while it's disabled or if it has the option to turn on a game mode or a passive mode, then try giving this a go. And if the game works, then you know you need to add it to the exception list in your security program. So the next thing to do, this depends on how you are currently connected to the internet, is to use an ethernet cable. If you're using a wireless connection and you're able to, use cable as it will offer a faster speed and a more stable connection, helping reduce lag and connection issues within the game. If it's not possible to use a cable, then try moving closer to the router. If you're using boosters, then try not using them and see if that helps. If you're not using boosters, then try using some Wi-Fi boosters. Also, that goes with the network adapters that plug into the sockets in the wall. Try using them and not using them as they can sometimes cause issues as well. Like I said at the start of the video, I have also put a link in the description below to our website 
where we may have more methods on how to fix connection issues with Modern Warfare 2. So the next thing that we need to do once you've done all that is if you're using a VPN is to turn it off as the VPN could be causing problems. If you're not using VPN, then don't panic because there is another thing that we can do and that's to open up the start menu and type in CMD. You now need to open up command prompt and you then need to type in ipconfig and then space and then forward slash flush DNS. Now press enter and once that's flushed the DNS, go ahead and launch the game again and see if that helped. If that didn't help resolve the connection issues you're having with the game, then the next thing we want to do is open up the program where you purchased the game from. So first I'm going to show you how to do this next method in Steam and then I will also show you how to do it in Battle.net. Once you've opened Steam, you then need to go to your library and you then need to find Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 in your games list and right click on it and go to properties. Next we need to select local files and you then need to click on verify the integrity of game files. And this is just going to make sure that none of the files have become either corrupted or missing. If you purchase the game through Battle.net, then I will show you how to do this now. Once you've had Battle.net open, select games and then select the game. I don't actually have it, so I'm going to use Warzone as the example. You then need to click on the settings cog and we then need to click on scan and repair and then go begin scan. And this is just going to again check to see if any of the files have become either corrupted or missing. Let that run and once it's finished, go ahead and launch the game. So after doing all that, and if none of that helped fix the connection problems you're having with Modern Warfare 2, then the next thing we need to do is right click on our network adapter in the bottom right hand corner in the system tray. You then need to select open network and internet settings. And we then need to select change adapter options. And you're then just going to right click on your network adapter and go disable. Next, you need to right click on it again and just go enable. This will disconnect you from the internet when you disable it. And then once you've enabled it again, let everything reconnect and then try launching the game again and see if that helped. If that didn't, then the next thing that we want to do is right click on the network adapter and then go to properties. Next, you need to select internet protocol version four and go to properties. And then we need to click on use the following DNS server. You now need to type one and then one, one and one and then press okay. This is now going to use the Cloudflare DNS. I will pop a link in the description below a bit about the Cloudflare DNS, but once you've changed that, launch the game and see if that helped. If that didn't help, then we need to keep the game open and there's a setting in there that I want to show you that you can change. Once you've opened the game, click on the settings cog in the top right hand corner and you then need to go down to account and network. Next, we need to toggle crossplay to off. Once you've changed that to off, now go ahead and launch into a game again and see if that helped. This means you will not be playing against other consoles. You will only be playing against PC players. And hopefully that will help reduce some of the lagging issues and other connection problems you're having in game. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. Like I said, if none of the methods in the video didn't fix the game for you, then check out the link in the description below to our website where we might have more methods on things that you can do. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see another computer sluggish video, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.